You've talked about Buddhism in relation to mindfulness. Do you see mindfulness as inherently part of Buddhism? Yeah, I don't, I never really felt that even Buddhism was a religion as much as a way to live awake. You know, instead of, they say we're falling asleep if we just let our minds drag us through life. Well, this is falling awake, you know, and um, I don't think that's religious per se. I mean, it's, it would be great if it was, if we could all have the religion of being awake and being present for one another. If that's a religion, fine. Um, but I don't even dwell on the religious part. It's more of a psychology to me, a psychology of being and a healthy way of being in the world. So maybe one day people won't see it as a religious issue. And I think that we're moving more and more in that direction. Mm -hmm. I think this is becoming more obvious as just a, a great way to, to be in the world. I remember th thinking like when I first was exposed to it all and reading all the books, like I, I was saying, this is psychology. Why aren't psychologists practicing this? You know, we have CBT, we have psychodynamic approaches, but this is psychology, you know? Be with our breath, be present. So I saw it a long time ago as this, and now I think it's moving more and more people are realizing how beneficial it can be.